Good afternoon, it is Wednesday today and if you think I look a bit red and blotchy, that is because I do. I've just got out of a bath and I specifically didn't use the same shampoo and conditioner as I did the last few times when this happened, thinking it might be those shampoos. So instead, because I couldn't get any different shampoo yesterday when I went shopping, I used the mint sauce shower gel instead of shampoo. But it still happened, it's gone really hot to the touch, it's like burning. So I don't know what it is. Oh, what a drag. <laughs> Yesterday, as you probably noticed, I only filmed about going to farm foods and farm food shopping haul, but actually I did some other things, but they were rather boring to look at. I contacted GoPro support again because my GoPro is still occasionally just refusing to switch on and then you have to take the battery out to reset it, put it back in, restart it, by which point what you wanted to film has gone, usually, unless it was like just a random tree or something, but quite a lot of things are moving and they go. So, or you know, you've just, you've missed the moment, so it has to go and they are going to send me a replacement, but I have to package that up today, print off a label they've given me and find the place, the drop off place to drop that off. Moving forward with that, but it does mean I'll probably be two weeks without it. We cracked on a bit with Izzy's application, she did a little bit more and I contacted two people that we need to have as references for her, or re referees, what do you call them? Anyway, they've got to fill out a whole big form and there's quite a lot of writing to do, they've got some questions to answer specifically on their form. This morning has been a very frustrating one for me, I've been trying to do simple things that are normally simple to do in Photoshop, you know, image, making a thumbnail basically. Something really simple I was trying to do and it took me about an hour and it shouldn't have, but my software was just not behaving like it normally does. So there was that and also my editing software has just suddenly randomly been unlinking the video and the sound and normally I like to edit them together unless I need to separate them to edit them separately and for the last two videos it's just they were unlinked and normally you can do something to link them but it wasn't working but I've learned how to do it by another route now I haven't tried it but hopefully it'll work but it's basically been taking me much longer to edit the videos because I've had to do everything twice you know instead of just treating it as one lump and doing it uh, anyway so there was also that boring tacky stuff not very interesting to film it's two o'clock now as you see and I'm getting pretty hungry IB is due at four so I shall do the normal going for a walk playing tunes with IB and cook him something for dinner, not swan off to the chippy this time. <laughs> I still haven't planned. I keep thinking I should start meal planning or at least just try it for a week and see how different it makes me feel because I think it will be worth the effort. Um, I think it's going to make me feel happier and calmer. Have you got any experience of meal planning versus not meal planning? What are your thoughts? I'd love to know in the comments. I'm gonna get myself some sort of quick lunch now anyway. I'm just having easy cheesy macaroni cheese for my lunch, one of those ready meals. Both the trays had split. Oh, let me show you, hang on, they're in here. <laughs> it's clean, I just changed the lineup. Look, look at that. Completely smashed to smithereens and they were both like it by the time I got them home. So a bit brittle packaging. Isabel didn't like hers at all so I suspect it's going to be revolting. Though to be fair she doesn't normally eat macaroni cheese ready meals because if we're both having it I make it from scratch and I tend to have them because there's so little on offer for vegetarians in the way of ready meals in certain shops that we go to and quite often that is the only vegetarian option. I was just wiping these drips up off the floor which of course accumulated as I uh, was putting those rinsed things into the recycling there and it reminded me of the croc problem. Now I think I've resolved this. I went searching on Amazon and I put things like slip resistant and things like that in the search field and it actually came up with some croc copies which are designed for chefs and kitchen staff. They are specifically designed to be worn on tiled floors that are wet or got spills, oil, etc. on them. And so they have an additional grippy sole on the bottom and apparently they're coming tomorrow. So hopefully in tomorrow's vlog, I should be able to show you those. I also put a wash on today. I'll just hang that out quickly now while the cheesy macaroni cheese is doing. I'm just boxing up my GoPro. I had this box the last time when I had it sent back before because this is the second replacement. So that's convenient. You obviously have to make sure that you've removed the battery, your SD card and any like wind muffs, which I had a load of. I had three on there, on the three mics. Right then, bye bye model two. In it goes. Which way up does it go? That way perhaps. 
we needed to print out three invoices. One of them I've put in this sort of plastic thing. It had greeting cards in it actually. So I just took the greeting cards out and I sellotaped it over. So I'm going to put that to the outside of the box. I'm going to attach it somehow. So I put one inside and one hand to the courier collection place when you hand it in as well. I didn't have to do that last time. Right, so I've got that in and I'll just I'll fold it over when I shut the box. Yeah, there's this RMA form, so I'm just folding that up and that goes in with the camera as well. It feels weird sending it off. I've made loads and loads of vlogs with it, but it's too unreliable. I can't rely on it. I've always got to have a backup in the bag and that's not the point. It's not what you want. Okay, I get to use my birthday thingy. I'm not really used to using it. Oh, oh yeah, the guard was on it. It's not now. <laughs> Isabel's looking over. She's working on her application here at the table. She uh, had a little bit of trouble with this last time, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not used to it yet. I'm getting in a mess. Oh, oh there we are. I think once you get used to it, it's going to be quick. But until you do, it's all clumsy, isn't it? I just did a really beautiful job of tidying this end up here and then I went to switch the record off and I found that I hadn't recorded it in the first place but I did a very lovely job I can assure you. I've just nipped upstairs I found out where the drop-off point is for the GoPro but also I've had a package knocking around my house for ages I accidentally bought my dad a Christmas present which was completely wrong because he'd bought himself a new second-hand phone and I didn't know he had a case so I bought him a case but not only that I got the wrong one and it doesn't fit so I'd be needing to send it back but the drop-off place is like a restaurant and I was concerned that it was shut because all restaurants are closed but I think maybe it's open because I just double-checked the uh, website for the drop-offs and it says it's open so I'm gonna go there anyway so I've got two things to drop off now but IB's coming at four and I've just texted him so does he mind if we walk to the courier drop-off places because if I try and go there and come back now I'm going to be all walked out because it's quite a trek there and back on foot and he said yes that's fine so I shall do that with him I've just been kitting out my phone with fluff it so I've just been googling where are the microphones on an iPhone 7 and they are there there and there apparently um, hopefully that's okay <laughs> because I now don't have something I'm happy to film with in the rain but I'd rather use my phone than this so yeah a bit of phone vlogging out and about for a couple of weeks until I get my new GoPro on hopefully this one will work hey Izzy what are you up to hello I am writing my application for a college scholarship place and the question was about my hobbies and it gave me a word count and I've already talked about two of my hobbies and I've already gone like over halfway of the word count and I've got a lot more to talk about so yeah it's difficult isn't it but I suppose it's better to get too much because then you can whittle it down get rid of all the rubbish and not the tenure if it is rubbish of course <laughs> it, but you know you should be left with pure quality at the end of it yeah and what's this what's been going on here Oh, I made a new phone case thing. This was the old one. Oh, yeah, I thought I recognised those. Yeah, they oh, were nice. in here. But then I took them out and replaced it with this one. So how have you made this? Um, I drew a digital art picture. Not necessarily specifically for a phone case. Oh, that was on your... That looks very like what was on your T-shirt. It it's the same character. Oh, I see. Have That's you invented her? Is she an OC? Yeah, she's an OC. I decided to draw her yesterday because I wanted to because I like drawing my OCs and today I printed these pictures out to go on my wall it's her again and I decided oh this would be nice for a phone case so I cut it up and put it in it's lovely she's bought herself a transparent phone case so you can keep on changing the artwork inside it can't you keep yep. it customised and fresh Oh, I've just realised I'm so excited to see my boyfriend. I was just doing a silly girly dance around the house, wasn't I, Izzy? Uh, anyway, I'm making myself a cup of tea because I'm absolutely gasping thirsty after all that concentrating on the Hermes and UPS and all that. I've got uh, two different couriers to worry about. Right, but we're almost out of veg because, of course, yesterday's shop wasn't very 
fruitful <laughs> or vegful for that matter. Oh, you're so amused by me, aren't you? Yeah, anyway, um, yes, but there is a fruit and veg stall kind of thing. It's, it's indoors, but it's very well ventilated. So I might see if IB wants to swing back via that on the way back. Izzy's being very silly, but she's right in front of the window, so I don't want to film her. I was just going like this because I was swinging. You're in a good mood. Yeah. Isabel's loving the Actifry, by all accounts. Yeah. You learned to use it last night, didn't you? I did, yes. What were your impressions of said Actifry? It tastes much better than when you do it in the oven. Definitely. I don't know how, but it does. It's like a miracle. It is. Well, it's just evenly cooked all over. It's st continuously stirred, isn't it? Also, I need a haircut. I keep seeing my hair. It's so long, I don't like it. <laughs> what are you making yourself for your lunch today? I'm making really trashy, unhealthy food, but it has a pepper, so it's okay. That's your veg portion, is it? No, I'm going to have more, but that's just it for now. All right, let me just, let's just show the people at home. This is Isabel's portion of veg when she does her own No, veg I was side. saying that that's just it for now. So I was just grabbing what I could and just getting it prepared. Any whole habit. You wouldn't see that in a restaurant. <laughs> it's better for you though if you eat it like that because once you cut it up it starts to lose its nutrients because the nutrients are yeah. water soluble and they evaporate, you see, once it's cut. Also, it's a good jaw exercise. <laughs> Your jaw needs no exercise, believe I me, disagree. young lady. <laughs> I disagree. I don't. <laughs> you can never have enough exercise ask a bodybuilder and they'll say the same thing. Oh, they'll probably say you need to rest sometimes. I'm surprised you haven't got fatigue of the jaw and tongue. I think you're taking this too far. Hmm, I think I might have overdone it with the fluffets. It appears to have gone over the camera as well. You can see why phone vloggers don't use these. I've repositioned it. Oh, I'm sort of getting everything in there. Oh my gosh, this is really close. Oh. <laughs> Oh, dog walker coming. Okay, so I've dropped off both parcels. One of them had to go into a convenience store. Excuse the funny angle. I'm not used to phone vlogging, and obviously I can't film the background because of privacy. Ooh, ooh. Right, okay, I'm going to get the hang of it. Right, okay, so the first one was a convenience store. So that was the GoPro. And the next one had to go into a funny machine locker thingy. And uh, that was quite straightforward as well. So they're both in, and Ivy and I are having a little walk around the park, but it's absolutely peeing with rain. We're back home. Look at Izzy's cheesecake that she made. We're going to sample it now with our cups of tea. Ivy is sitting here. Izzy's working. Are you on, being on camera today? Yeah, I was on earlier. I know, but sometimes you change your mind throughout the day. Anyway, yes, she's still working on her application. Ivy's been giving some input regarding structure. Is it okay if I say that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because he's good at writing stuff. Don't tell him I said so. I'm going to try this cake now anyway. Mm. What's the next question? I'm interested and curious. When faced with conflict, how did you try and... The crocs are here. And I was just about to try the camera. Let me just one thing at a time, right? Sorry, guys. They, they're having a really serious discussion and I'm getting excited about crocs and cake. Yeah, it's hard to eat. I'll have a fork. Oh, man, that's delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Very cheesy. Nice. Oh, my gosh. We won't need dinner. I say that's dinner sorted. We'll just yeah, I it's really put some salad on the side. I've got a tin of pie filling. Would probably go well with it as well. Mmm, -hmm. Isabel, flipping act, man. I think you need to send in a box of cookies with your application. <laughs> Sweeten them up. Here I come because I admire you so much. Here are some cookies. It's not that silly, it's a gesture. Oh, no. Look at these, IB. Look at these, Izzy. Oh man, they're super crocs. They are. They were, they were about thirty pound. Jeez, really... They're not actually crocs. They're an imitation, but they're designed. What is the point of having crocs without holes in them? I know they didn't have any holy ones, but the thing is, these are designed for kitchen stuff. So they've got a really grippy bottom, and you can like walk in spills on tiled floors, and you shouldn't slip. And okay. presumably they're enclosed because you're likely to be at risk from dropping a knife or boiling water on your feet. So super protective. Can you see yeah, sure, have a look. I'd be sold already. I I'll put a link in the description. Can you can out. find them. These are heavy juice. They are, yeah, I Hard love crocs. crocs. I love crocs apart from the fact they're a bit slippy. The point of crocs is that they let your feet breathe. Not for me. The point for me is they're really lightweight and very comfortable. They're not comfortable. I haven't tried these on, mind you, they might not fit. So, what are you thinking about that question? I don't know, I'm not really a conflicty person. Let's see if they fit. Oh gosh. Oh. Yeah, yeah, they do. 
Oh god, they're a bit tight. I'm a five and I ordered a five. Did you look at the measurements? No, I just thought five was a five. Have you had any instances of straw? Oh, they're a little bit, um, my toes are pushing up against the end. I might need to send them back and get a bigger size. Oh, that's annoying. It's quarter past seven in the evening now. I'm gonna get on and make our dinner, but if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like. It really helps the channel to grow. I am so grateful. And if you're new here and you'd like to follow more of our story, feel free to hit that subscribe button down there and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.